hi guys welcome to my youtube channel with the new video of a cat breed so now um, i will uh, bring some videos about the cat breeds some puppy cat breeds that you can uh, take at your home that you can buy and they are very cute cats i have collected some information uh, about some breeds so i will share with you so today i have uh, the cat we uh, to explore is the turkish angora cat breed it is very beloved in their native turkey uh, and the turkish angora is quite possibly the only domestic cat kept and raised in a zoo for a time uh, these gorgeous intelligence uh, regal cats were all thought to be tough uh, and were used to heavily in crossbreeding to build up the persian breed uh, they were almost driven to extinction while still a rare breed today. Uh, the Turkish Angora has devoted following across the globe among people who want to soft, visually magnetic, long haired cat. Uh, now I will tell you about the, their appearance and how it looks like. The Turkish Angora is a medium sized cat with a slender, delicate appearance. Uh, according to the breed standard, Angoras who originate from the Ankara Zoo, which is capital of uh, Turkey, have a somewhat more substantial build, but all Angoras have a dignified regal uh, disposition and carry themselves with grace. Uh, the Angora cat is long, uh, very soft and comes in a wide variety of colors and uh, variations white is traditionally the most popular and the non color produce uh, at the Ankara Zoo but uh, Turkish Angoras can also be found in black, reds, brown and grays as well as tabby, tortoise, shell and bicolor variations their heads are small and round with white set ears and large almond shaped eyes uh, that come in amber green blue or in a heterochromatic blue amber or blue green pairing. Uh, now I'll tell you about the temperament of these uh, cat breeds. The Turkish Angora is highly intelligent. They are incredibly social cat uh, who dwell strong bonds with their family units. Uh, though they may often choose one person in particular to bond closest to it, uh, says uh, Pam Nicholas, DBM President of the American Animal Hospital Association. So, Turkish Angoras love spirited play, either with their human companions or on their own. A variety of toys will keep them entertained and their independent streaks mean and they can do well if left on their own for a few hours as well. Deafness is a trait that runs in the Turkish Angora. This doesn't seem to affect their quality of life. However, and deaf Angoras live normal, healthy lifespans according to the Cat Fanciers Association. They may, however, be louder than normal when vocalizing since uh, they can't hear their own voices and are unable to modulate. Uh, if you have the Turkish Angora Jones, so you will know about their living needs. So let me explain the living needs of Turkish Angoras. They can get along uh, well with children if they are socialized to them well enough. Uh, though very little ones should be cautioned about pulling their long hair or tugging on tails. They are not as accepting of being handled by small kids as some other bees, uh, like the Himalayan, Nicholas uh, says. Angoras are happily accepting of other cats as well as dogs if properly introduced. But they tend to do just as well uh, on their own and don't traditionally exhibit a lot of stress behaviors if left alone.
Like all cats, Swordfish Angoras need a variety of toys and a few stretching poles to keep themselves happy and save your couch from flower marks. They also tend to be loft perchers, so give them some kind of a high vantage point uh, from which to sit and watch the house. They tend to be climbers and like to sit up high. Nicholas says that a tall cat tree mounted cat shells are a high up cat hammock will be your angora's go to spot. Uh, if not designated or tall place to sit, they are most likely going to commandeer one on top of a bookcase or door. Uh, Turkish angoras are happily accepting of other cats as well as dogs if properly introduced with them. The most important thing is their care. Uh, their long silky uh, hairs coats have no undercoat which make grooming fairly easy for the Turkish angoras. But this doesn't mean you can skip grooming because they need brushing one or two times a week in order to keep their coats shiny and looking good. The hair is fine enough uh, that it doesn't tend to clump or mat all that easily, but it will continue to grow until they are about two years old. So expect the brushing sessions to get more involved as uh, your cat grows. So Turkish angoras also shed a lot, Nicholas says. So routine brushing will keep their loose fur from ending up on your furniture. Keeping an eye on their ears and around their ear eyes will be important as well as uh, the long fur can trap dirt around those areas that uh, could pot potentially lead to infection. A damp cloth around the eyes and ears should be enough to remove any uh, buildup. Health is also more important, so for a long period in the 19th century and early it was uh, assumed all Turkish angoras were deaf. Well, that's certainly not the case. It is a bigger issue in the breed than in most. There seems to be connection between the gene of white fur and blue eyes and the breed sharing. Hereditary ataxia is a rare but serious condition in some Turkish angoras kittens. So these kittens can be affected by ataxia, you should know about this disease and can care about. Another genetic illness that is rare but known of the breed is hypertrophic uh, cardiomyopathy, which is a cardiac condition. This is also very rare in these type of cats. I hope you enjoyed the videos, uh, which is very informative. Be blessed. Have a nice day.